Good morning and thank you so much for waking up with us on this Thursday morning. I'm Marissa Holloway and I'm Maurice Strumman. News 4 continues to track the developments in response to the coronavirus pandemic. There has been a major spike in confirmed coronavirus cases in the state of Illinois in the last 24 hours. And as of yesterday morning, there were 161 cases. There's now 288 cases, while in Missouri that number has gone up to 24. Now, yesterday we learned about the first positive case in St. Charles County. There was also another new case in St. Louis City, bringing that total to two. There are now five cases in St. Louis County and in the Metro East, three in St. Clair and Clinton counties. Meanwhile, in the nation's capital, federal scientists are looking into whether a self-swab test would be possible. There continues to be a shortage of test kits nationwide. Also developing, both St. Louis City and County have now put restrictions on gatherings of no more than 10 people. The federal government is warning the number of cases will dramatically spike soon. We're told a five to seven day backlog of tests will be run over the next 24 hours. And News Force Emma Hogue is live right now detailing that expected jump in numbers. Good morning, Emma. Marissa, good morning and some startling numbers we're talking about here. The number of cases nationwide is growing by the hundreds and in some states like here in Illinois, nearly doubling by the day. Let's take a closer look at some of these numbers. Right now there are more than 8,700 cases in the United States. Just yesterday at noon, that number was just over 7,000. In Illinois, cases here are growing rapidly too. The number of people infected with COVID-19 jumped from 161 to 288 all in one day. Both doctors and government leaders say this is really due to an increase in testing. As more tests become available, more and more people are learning to have this virus. It will be five to six days worth of tests being run in 24 to 48 hours. Yesterday's total was 160 known cases across 15 counties, ages 9 to 91. And even though Illinois is being recognized as a national leader in response to COVID-19, make no mistake, these numbers will get much worse before they get better. So as more tests become available, more drive through testing sites like this one back behind me here in Swansea are opening up. This one opens today at noon, but there are some things you will need to bring if you plan on driving by. I'll detail what you need ahead in our next half hour. For now, reporting live in Swansea this morning, Emma Hogue, News 4. Thank you, Emma. And many people are concerned the situation here in the U.S. will soon be as dire as it is in Italy. That country's had more than 35,000 confirmed cases of the virus and nearly 3,000 deaths. News 4 looked into the data. Italy hit 1,000 cases on February 29th. The U.S. hit 1,000 cases 11 days later on March 11th. In the week that followed, the U.S. is nearly identical to Italy in the amount of new cases, with yesterday's spike putting the U.S. on pace to actually surpass Italy. If this trend continues, the U.S. could have tens of thousands of cases by the end of March, and it is